Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, there were no Friday night ops because of the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about my cockpit setup here. Now, I know I've talked in videos past about how my objective with setting up this cockpit when I started assembling it was to reduce my need for the keyboard and mouse and uh, to have a button and switch for everything which I've pretty much accomplished uh, with the exception of needing the mouse for the transponder but some of you have already shown me some solutions to that I just haven't had time to look at it yet now I know I've shown in also previous videos my little decal down here for my Gulfstream and that I set my home screen as a Gulfstream logo so it would show up on the GPS like this but I really wanted this cockpit to serve many functions, uh, which includes flying turboprops, uh, pretty much any twin engine aircraft. Uh, I can fly single engine too, but uh, I don't do that very often because that's what I do the most in the real world. So I'll start here with the SciTech instrument panels. I use 12 of these, and this is my standard configuration for how I have them set up the backlit information panel, the go flight uh, warning panels, which are my master warning, my stall, my pull up, my ground terrain. Uh, this one lights up when I deploy my spoilers. My alternator warning. Uh, this toggles me between GPS and nav, which also reflects on the backlit instrument panel. My low vault which would uh, light up if I killed the APU. Uh, Anti-ice, which is right here. Low oil pressure, low fuel pressure, the landing and taxi light, the auxiliary fuel pump light, which isn't going to light up right now. Uh, DC gen, left and right. Um, Auto feather for when I'm flying a turboprop left and right, and then the uh, door unlock, which also has a door warning on the backlit information panel. I also have the SciTech autopilot, um, which I really need only because I have trouble with my vertical speed here, so this knob serves as my vertical speed. Otherwise, I wouldn't need that module at all, um, but it is also nice because this gives me my pitch trim. Uh, since I removed that from the GoFlight panel when I swapped out the landing gear selector for the uh, desktop aviator. Uh, the other warning panels are over here. Um, this switch array from desktop aviator is my seatbelt sign and the smoking sign. Fuel cost for, uh, transfer, which also illuminates on the backlit information panel. And then these three switches serve as the APU. Um, this is giving power supply to the airplane. If I shut that off, then it doesn't have power supply, but the APU is still running. So I have to toggle that up and down to shut off the APU. To turn on the APU, I have to toggle this one up and down. And then the APU is coming up. And then I can deliver power to the aircraft. It's a little weird, but that's just how I have to have it set up. The Brunner Dual CLS-E Force Feedback Yokes, which are my absolute favorite. Uh, I don't know if anything can really top them. I'm using the SciTech rudder paddles on both sides for the pilot and co-pilot side. I've been thinking about the Brunner Force Feedback rudder pedals. Uh, that might be something in the future. Again, uh, still using the GoFlight. This is my autopilot, my flight director, which will come on and off. Um, you know, course selection, auto throttle arm. This aircraft's not equipped for it. Airspeed, hold, heading, altitude, vertical speed. This is the autopilot master, and I can disengage the autopilot by toggling this down. I can disengage the autopilot by pressing this button. I can disengage it by pressing this button. Or by pressing this button. Or by pressing this button. I can disengage the autopilot a lot of different ways. 
uh, including just forcefully overtaking the yoke will disengage the autopilot. Um, I move down my COM1, COM2 using go flight. These switches are my pitot heat, pitot heat, de-ice. Uh, this is the primer for when I'm flying piston aircraft, smoke switch for when I have aircraft that have the smoke effect. This is auto feather for when I'm flying turboprops, prop sync for turboprops, and this is my yaw dampener. Uh, these buttons are my cow flaps open and closed for when I'm flying piston aircraft. This is my altimeter to the local setting. Transponder, just set quick to VFR. You press that and transponder goes to 1200. Uh, and these are starter switches for four engines, but uh, I haven't flown a four engine airplane in a long time. I might change that soon. Landing gear selector, which I've talked about in plenty of videos. And this is the engine start module. I've set this switch to direct bleed air, left or right, and then these switches are ignition and uh, the starter set for continuous. This is the desktop aviator GPS. A uh, really fantastic piece. I love it. It's really nice to use when I'm flying. Uh, I found the one minor flaw in it. And you see this message flashing. You can pull up the message. It says inside airspace. And then you cancel it. But if you touch this button twice, you should be able to turn that message off. But you can't do that with the module. You can only do that if I take the mouse and drag the GPS up onto the screen and double click message. Now it's off. And that won't flash anymore and I can set it back in place. Because remember this is just a monitor on this module. So I have to set this GPS in place every time. But I do it so much I'm very quick at it so it's not a big deal. Then I have the 737 throttle quadrant from GoFlight. They're really fantastic. I, I mean, I would love to have motorized throttles, but uh, I don't know. I have to find someone who makes them and it'll work with everything. Then the switch is down here. My, uh, my battery master, my avionics master. Fuel run cut for four engines, but again, something I can change because I don't fly four engined aircraft. Um, fuel pump, this turns on all fuel pumps, left, right, center, that's just all fuel pumps. And then this is a, uh, actually that's a spoiler, it says parking brake because it used to be parking brake, but yeah, if I deploy the spoiler, that lights up. Uh, I don't really use that at all, but I might find a better use for it soon. This older module, which is very difficult to find with the red LED lights um, from GoFlight, uh, you got to watch eBay and sometimes they pop up, but not often. I like it with the red. And this knob is a little different, um, which I really like, the two-tier twisting knob. That serves as my ADF radio. This is serving as NAV1, NAV2. Uh, this is the panel, or the comms panel, basically. I have TOGA on here, which it shouldn't be here uh, because it is actually right here on the throttles. That was just from when it was an old setup and I haven't changed that. This is the altimeter to standard 299 or 2. This is just showing me my wheel brakes are on if I turn the parking brake off by using the parking brake handle. That light will go out and as well as will show on my backlit information panel. Um, COM1, COM2, both. ADF ident, which is also this ADF ident, so another button I could find a different use for. Actually, as I'm making this video, I realize I have some things I need to move around. Uh, marker beacon, and then a lot of these knobs will actually control GPS, zoom. Uh, this is my auto brakes for when I fly the 737. This is actually my altimeter adjustment, so I can adjust the altimeters with this knob. And uh, this is my decision height adjustment. Then this panel is all lighting, um, beacon, nav, panel, taxi, landing, strobes, logo, and uh, an additional logo which is for like tail lights or uh, ice inspection lights. Transponder at the aft of the pedestal, and um, this is the dual FSX uh, inter 
intercom system that I use to record the audio and um, use my real aviation headsets. Uh, I showed you just now the desktop aviator parking brake handle. And, um, you know, I'll show you some of the other things. Uh, well, let me, I'll kill the APU. Oh, I'm sorry, off, off. And I can pull that up and show that that's powered down. Um, now, if I shut the battery off, the volt light will come on to show low volts. But I'm going to turn the APU back on. This is how you can see the panel. I toggle this up to start. See the APU started? And then I toggle this up to actually introduce the power. All right, so I quickly uh, changed aircraft to the uh, Beechcraft King Air. Uh, just to show you some of the turboprop features of the cockpit. See, I can shut this off now because this aircraft doesn't have an APU. So some of the functions work a little different depending on the airplane I'm flying. Um, so right now I'm in the um, King Air and I will need to turn on the auto feather because if I don't, uh, you get a master caution which shows you the auto feathers off because you're supposed to have the auto feather on for takeoff, climb, and descent, and landing. Uh, but you don't need it in cruise. Uh, when you're in cruise, you can turn the prop sync on. But now that I have the auto feather advanced, I will release the parking brake. Landing lights and strobe lights are on. And as I advance the power, here's my engine instruments here, I will activate the uh, auto feather system and you'll see the two green lights pop on to indicate that it's uh, active. Now I'll port this takeoff, bring the throttle to idle, engage the reversers and you see the lights extinguish. Um, so that's uh, one of the objectives of my cockpit which is the point of all this is that uh, it's for the use of many different aircraft types. I have systems for flying the jet and I have systems for flying the turboprop. So that's a, a quick closer look at uh, my cockpit and the setups and, and I've actually just realized I have quite the few buttons that I can reassign. Um, so that'll be a, something to think about for me. Uh, it's been a real busy time with Thanksgiving and all and you know before you know it Christmas is on you. So uh, Hopefully I'll catch you next Friday night for Friday Night Ops. Hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, happy landings.